Really the idea is not for you to learn everything that you need to learn today. It's hopefully to plant lots of seeds for you to learn more when you leave and to inspire you to do new things. So hopefully I can teach you some ways to garnish drinks, to make new drinks, to speed up your bar service, to do like the extra mile kind of thing. We try and start as early as we possibly can, which was maybe 5th century AD, and we go through how the bartending industry has changed since then until present day, running straight through Prohibition, all those uh, pivotal moments in bartending. Then we go through uh, different drinks families, so we talk about actual families of drinks, rather than just specific cocktails, we try and talk about specific families like fizzes and flips and knobs. So the word punch, guys, comes from a, a Hindi word, panch, which basically just means five, which tells you that there's five ingredients in there. Spirits of any kind, so rum, whiskey, whatever. So spirits, sugar, water, spice, and citrus. Guys, cheers. talk about uh, extra techniques, you know, like swizzling a drink and um, rolling drinks from uh, one tin to another, and why that aerates the drink in a different way to stirring and a different way to shake and different things like that. We are using homemade or, or bar made products that can be as simple as sugar syrup or, you know, an orange cordial or and I'm going crazy into things like very complex grenadines or bee pollen syrup or honey syrups and thyme syrups and infusions and all kinds of these different things using teas and leaves and spices and herbs and, and all kinds of different things are going into these drinks. What I hope people get out of the two day mixology course is that they take away so much inspiration that they start asking themselves lots and lots of questions and oh, if I can do this then maybe I can do this and I can try this and, and really that it's not wrong to do anything. There's so many ingredients out there and I wouldn't rule any of them out for drinks. You know, If you can use it in a kitchen, if it's edible, if it's not poisonous then we can try and use it. Maybe it'll taste good, maybe it won't, but what's the worst that can happen? we might stumble across the next big thing, the next cosmopolitan.